Hello, my name is Tina Chang. I'm a coach with the Yolanda M. Ferris Young Artist Program. Today, I would like to introduce to you some musical highlights from VO's last production of the season, Carmen Up Close and Personal. So what you just heard was the fate theme from Carmen, and this theme pervades throughout the entire opera as a reminder for all of us that fate uh, is an inescapable uh, factor in the lives of all the characters that we will be meeting today. Carmen, Micaela, Don Jose, and the Toreador, Escamillo. So what you just heard was the habanera from Carmen, and this aria sung by Carmen explains her philosophy of life and love. And that is, you've got to grab life by its horns and damn the consequences, because if you don't, then life is wasted. So that was the Toreador's aria, uh, Escamillo is his name. He is a bullfighter, and this also expounds his life philosophy as well, which is very similar to Carmen, and which is probably why they end up falling in love, because they've got two very similar people, personality-wise, finally getting together. That's not to say opposites don't attract, which is what we see between Don Jose and uh, Carmen, and we see the final consequences of that or we, it's inferred, at least in this production. We've probably heard this tune from a lot of commercials, movies, films, TV. This just goes to show how a confident person Toreador is and that he also has to grab life by its horns, literally, because he fights in the rings with the bulls and he never, he never knows if he's gonna come out of the ring alive but from one day to the next. So that was Micaela's aria, who is the uh, other love interest in Don Jose's life. Micaela is a childhood friend from uh, Don Jose's earlier life, and she represents the good in her life and the pious and the, the, the religious. This aria represents Micaela's attempt to rescue, so to so-called rescue Don Jose back from the dark side of life and she implores God to help her do that. I'm sure you've all heard the, these tunes in one form or another, either from films, from movies, from uh, other versions of commercials uh, as background. It is interesting to note that when this was premiered, it was such a flop and critics even made comments that the tunes from the opera itself are not very memorable, which is very surprising to us today because we know the Toria tune, we know the Habanera, we know uh, Don Jose's aria, we know a lot of the orchestral interludes that we don't get a luxury to hear today, but um, in the full production, you get to hear all those tunes everywhere. So what I love most about the music from Carmen is that the filming of this about a week ago, and I still have earworms of all the music from the show 
every day since. So I actually quite enjoy it because it's it's a mark of really great uh, music writing for me, music composition. I find myself waking up still whistling to it. So maybe the next time you wake up and brush your teeth, you'll have the habanera as your morning ritual <laughs> background music. <laughs>